Okay, people, <clears throat> I'm back at it on the uh, Sleepy Hollow Bridge. Well, I had an accident. My roof caved in. My shoddy construction was not good enough. So what I did, because I used these, I was using this little lumber here, and then it rained a ton and got all these boards wet and made this thing get heavy and they literally just cracked and snapped. So I'm changing to two by four, two by fours with metal brackets. And so that ought to hold it. So I'm gonna do two by fours as the bracing or as the um, support's going up and as the trusses going across. And so it should be really nice and sturdy. So I just finished cutting um, these angles. Then I gotta cut down the two by fours a bit because they're eight foot. I don't want it to be quite that tall. And then I actually shortened the bridge one pallet. I shortened it to make it a little bit smaller. I'm not gonna have a lot of tear down time after, so that'll just make it easier for me after Halloween. Um, and save on some wood. So anyway, back at it again. Take two, Sleepy Hollow Bridge. This one is not falling apart, damn it. Oh, and as another update, um, I pulled my breathing grave out and I fortified it. So um, I took all the PVC apart and there's a screw in every PVC. I painted it black because last year it was just still white because I made it last minute. Zip tied on all the um, fencing here and it is so much better. It's not gonna fall apart now in the shed this year. It was in like 5,000 pieces when I pulled it out. So that ought to be cool. Um, this is gonna go under the Sleepy Hollow tree um, as um, the grave of the Headless Horseman. So I'm gonna probably put skulls on it and you can see them, they move around when they're in there. Um, I'll try to show you guys a bit of that um, at another time. But there's update number two for you. Get your hunt on.